What's going up, everybody? Hope everybody's having an awesome day today. We're going to be talking about how to scan for stocks on the Thinkorswim trading platform. And we're going to be talking about pretty much how to scan for stocks pre-market, after hours, and during market hours. Because each scanning, you know, thing, you know, you have to set up your, uh, you know, scanner a little differently. If you don't know what a stock scanner is, a stock scanner is a way you can filter out all the stocks that don't meet your criteria and you can see just the stocks you want to look at. So this is a very, very popular way many traders actually find stocks to trade on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, often that's what you see, um, you know, on these, uh, pretty much on these, on the side tabs for if, I, I really don't use it a whole lot because I use different scanners but the TOS is actually very very good for you know being free so let's dive right into it here so you know pretty much what you're gonna wanna do is pretty much you know I know I keep saying pretty much but you're gonna wanna go add filter to a stock and this is just gonna be talking about the um, you know how I use my scanner here so you know you can add a filter you can add do a filter for options, add study filter, add fundamental filter. Also, they do have already uh, preset scanners, so you can just click public, you know, percent gainers, click on that, let it load up, click scan. So now, you know, you have all those stocks that um, had a lot of either volume or the highest percent change today. So, you know, you can always connect this to charts so you guys can see it very, very easy. Go uh, click the right tab, click here, go down to, you know, public per percent gainers right there. So now everything lines up here. You know, very it's not too complicated, really. And, you know, if you have personal ones, you can set them there, right there. All right. So let's dive right into it again. So let's talk about pre-market scans. So pre-market scans are pretty much before the market opens and this is a way that a lot of traders find stocks to trade uh, during the market hours if they don't have a Momo scanner or a momentum scanner so pretty much what you're gonna want to do here I'll pull mine up so you guys can see it personal alright so now it's load up so now pretty much it's very very basic it is not too complicated here so you know, when the stock's gapping up more than 4%, I get notified. If the stock's over a dollar, it should be over around 3 because that's kind of like my go-to. So now I have a ton of options here, you know. And during the market hours, this, you can have it so it, you know, rings if a stock is gapping up. But what's very, very important is the volume tab. Volume's pretty much the best way to get in and out of trades. And, you know, this, if you have no volume, there's no way you can actually buy a stock or sell it. So you always have to make sure that you have some sort of volume. And it, it, looking at these stocks, you know, yes, the stock's gapping up, you know, 66%. But look at the volume, three. Look at the, um, <coughs> the volume on this one, 650 you know, that is a, not a lot of volume. So what I should do here is go to add a filter for stock here. And now we're going to just look for the volume tab. <clears throat> All right. And as we click volume, so pretty much for pre-market, anything over a hundred thousand is, is very, very good. So now let's click scan. Now we're, now we filtered out all those bad stocks. And now we have stocks that have a lot of volume. You don't want it to be overcrowded. You know, pretty much anything over 5 million shares traded is, is kind of getting crowded. So, you know, when you buy a stock and you want to sell it, you have to, if everybody's trying to sell at one time, your order is just going to be pushed back and it's going to, you know, drastically affect the, you know, the price at which you sell it at. So always keep that in mind. So anything over five mils or you know getting a little crowded there all right so next here you can add a study filter so you know this is just you know if you know um, what you know uh, 
study filters are. It's very, it's, you know what stock studies are, it, like the VWAP and stuff like that. It's very, very similar to it. So you can literally just look at popular studies and you can look at moving average scans. You can look at pretty much price scans. So you could just click gap up right here, very similar. And you know, now when it's, when the, when it closes, so you're gonna to wanna to click close. And then when it's up more than, you know, like I said, 4%. And then this is just the, uh, this is going to be how you pretty much can do that pre-market scans. So this is on the daily. You're going to want to change this to 20 minutes. So, and then when you click that, you're going to want to make sure that this is checked. So ex include extended trading sessions. So now this is going to be this and this are going to be very, very similar. So now when the you know stock closes and it gaps up more, more than 4% um, from the previous, <clears throat> sorry about that, from the previous high, you're going to be notified, you know, but you can actually change this, you know, like I said, so you can change all of this. If you want to have it from the lows, if you want to have it from the open, you know, that's all up to you, but you can, I'm just going to leave that for more than the 4% or more than above the previous closing price. So now you're going to want to click scan. And now these are going to be the stocks that you're going to really want to try to focus on. So, you know, that is just one way you can actually find stocks for pre-market and after hours is you just got to make sure that this little checkbox is, is checked. And then how to pretty much make this appear on the charts here. It's very, very easy. So let's go back to scan. Let's save this. Best pre-market. Let's save that. Let's overwrite my other one. I just haven't used this in a while. I use TOS, or not TOS. I use trade ideas normally for my pre-market scans. So let's go to personal. Click that. Now you're going to want to click that. So now you're going to be getting these stocks that are gapping up. You know, like I said, it's very, very early. It's after hours, so you, there really isn't a whole lot moving. And, you know, but these stocks could have potential. You always have to keep that in mind. But since I'm checking it at almost 9 at night, you know, it's common. You want to mostly start doing this at around 8.30 in the morning. Oh, excuse me. Man, I don't know. My voice is like, <laughs> killing me I don't know but yeah so just you know have this uh, up and running you can leave it off to the side here and you can there is a way let's click let's go back to scan but yeah so pretty much you know this is just the best way to actually um, have it and then oh and then this is another thing uh, this is what I was looking for alert when scan results change so that's load up best pre-market here click scan then you're gonna want to go back to load scan whoops don't let me click alert when results change and then this is gonna be scan name best pre-market <coughs> So now when a stock gets added to this that meets this criteria, it'll go ding and you'll be able to hear it, check it, and put the stock up on your chart instantaneous. It's not too complicated, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please sure to like, subscribe, comment if you're comment if you're new. Welcome to the team. You know, if you want to be part of the trading group chat, 100 percent free. You just gotta join. So that's it though. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. Take care. Maybe.